Welcome to beautiful and still burning Southern Crazydonia, where if the quakes don't kill you, the fires will. Put on your shades and chill out, baby. We're broadcasting live from Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. Are you ready for some Newton football? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The New York Tyrants go up against the Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Ugh. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? See that movement? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. <laughs> We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First and ten.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, my gosh. The defensive player looks like he's lost. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. First and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and eight. Hot, hot one, hot two. Drop him. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta ask. <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. <laughs> His 
Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And they're catching up. Jump, jump, do something. Nicely done for a first down. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. Oh, shit, Lord, we get out of it. Second down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and more than the QB would like. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Sounds like you would... Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and two. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And this game is up for grabs. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard though when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. And this is a first and And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have demanded the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. Not one. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And the punter has one job to do, and that's pump the ball. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Good 
good for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck up. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw the real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. One speed, engage. What are you trying to press your third bit? Oh, and he breaks free. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. That's a six yard gain. Hey, man, I was hanging on the piano now. You know what happened? And that'll be second down and four. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And that'll be second and eight to go. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! 
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. With the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and five. for a second there. Third down and five. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify.
Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pad, Grant. You're right. First down. First down and six. And the defense calls a strawberry field's dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my end, Bricks. <laughs> Good oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third and two. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move his ass out of bounds before he gets... Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down in a very lot. Oh, with the punishing hit! First and ten. And then Cash will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First.
first and ten. Second down and a lot. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and long. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple tree and bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, you're telling me. First and ten. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And it's first and ten.
third down and never going to happen. And that is a big game. You know the defense wants some payback after that. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Some yards with pinpoint passing. Second down and five. First and ten. And let the work be dirty. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys get wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Come to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate. On two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. Second down and long. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. And it's first and ten. Up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring.
bring up second and one. But he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And that'll bring up third and one. And he punched his way out of it. He caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt. But he seems to have worked through it. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grant. And he puddles forward for the two-point conversion. When skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece, that's always cause for celebration. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. And the two-minute warning sounds. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. And it's first and ten. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Second and three. <laughs> and that'll be their final timeout. Third down and five. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punch! 
flashing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match Schmutzy time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Third, and that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. Not many kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grim. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. <laughs> the Dams walk away victorious today. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, wait, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so 